subscribe to the pod. It's the number one thing that you can do to show that you are on board at the ground level. But mm. we we can barely say people are ground level anymore. No, this is. I mean, it, it's really a uh, it's a lifestyle now. Two hundred forty k on pushing three hundred k. We should do three hundred k in another month and a half. Yeah, we should do a million before the season's over. With. Yeah, I mean, but uh, that's all you guys. That's not us. That's just us providing material, provide providing our own opinionated responses. That's built on facts. Our facts. It's just the best way you can support us. Subscribe to the pod. Subscribe to the pod. Subscribe to the pod or Pat Bev is coming to your house. No, 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 no. See, you want to, now you, well, I have to be the bad guy. I'm not and, a, gonna, and he's going to subscribe for you. No. You have to let me finish. No. And he's going to probably bring you a, a muffin basket <laughs> hey, and some hey. cash. All right, say less. Pat Bev pod with Rome. 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 Shout out to Milwaukee, man. Yeah, it's a beautiful city and it's great. And y'all, y'all like what I like. Good old beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, these folks drink their beer down here. <laughs> and I drink mine. Shout out to Milwaukee, baby. Yeah, shout out to Milwaukee, man. Pat Bed Pie with Ron, let's get into it. Mm. Uh, hey. Belt to ask, my friend. Where we at right now? All right, so we're in Milwaukee. Fireside chats type of vibe. Shout out to Coach Budenholzer. Oh, why? Stop twirling this man's furniture like this. <laughs> wait, so this is still his furniture? Yeah, all this, all this stuff. This is wait. He currently lives here. No, 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 no. He's uh, allowing me to rent it out. So shout out to Coach Budenholzer. I don't know if you watch the pod, but uh, your spot is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Uh, I'm not a weed smoker, so you don't have to, I know you don't know a lot about me. I'm not a weed smoker, so you don't have to worry about, you know, your your house smelling like weed or anything. Not uh, really a drinker, except for beer after game. But your dog might pee on the carpet. Chill, chill, if chill, chill. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a Yorkie. He's not like a fucking K9. It's so. just tiniest dots of, of pee. It's not gonna like be a uh my dog is is do you hear this thunder and lightning outside, dude? You hear it? It's biblical. Tornado's about to come and rip through here. We're in Milwaukee. Yeah, we're in Milwaukee right now. Well, yeah, Coach Budenholzer, shout out to you. Uh, thanks for uh, allowing me to rent out the spot, man. Uh, an incredible spot. Incre- so cozy. Couch is great. Everything. Thank the you, fire's bro. real. The fire's crackling. It's keeping our asses warm oh, right yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you've been putting heat to ass in a whole different way. Ooh. It's been... Uh, At the All-Star break, they talked about us like a dog, didn't they? They got on TV and they clowned. They clowned up our players and they told the coach he was. They clowned us, didn't they? They did. A little quiet now. <laughs> it was a bit of a runaway train of people having a lot to fucking say. Like, And then coming out of all-star break, Minnesota. Number one team. Belt to ass. Belt to ass. Philadelphia. Haven't seen you guys in a while. I miss you guys so much. But belt to ass. And then just tonight. Against the Hornets. We got to win. I can't really go crazy on them because we play them again. So let me respect the game. Be reserved. Uh, but I mean, I don't Belt know. to ass. What the fuck <laughs> you talking about? What talking? <laughs> so what happened at the All-Star break that has this team playing like a fire's been lit underneath nah, them? I mean, you play the Heat on a back-to-back. Always a tough game playing the Heat straight up. Right. Okay. You play the Heat on a back-to-back or you play them straight up is always a tough game. Um, last game All-Star, you know. I'm coming here with this new energy. Guys are, you know, got guys competing in the, in, in, in the All-Star weekend. You know, we got a lot going on. New coach, you feel me? So, okay, cool. We dropped two. It happens. Revamp. Let's re- re-energize. Let's get right. Man, I'm talking about we got our first little uh, <clears throat> comeback from break. You got your first practice. Yeah. Yana, stand up. We thinking about the future. Think about now. Have fun now. Have fun right now. Don't think about the playoffs. Don't think about championships. None of that. Have fun in this game right now. If we're supposed to send somebody right, send them right. If we're supposed to send them left, send them left. If we got to box out, if we got to advance the ball, if we got to play. I'm sitting there like, wow. That is fucking impressive. Why? Because like, as a, as, as a leader, right? Uh-huh. As a leader, you appreciate leadership like that. It's the first message before the coaches say anything for him. First message to Giannis. Mm. 
that don't take have fun, have joy, let it be joyful. Man, I'm talking about man, like I was listening to a Greek god or something. I mean, that bitch, yeah, 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 let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying? Had us fired the fuck up. Yeah, it's uh, the it's first just, practice. We play once. Come on, Pat Bell, let's play once. Huh? Well, then B's join. Then AJ Green joins. Whole practice going on. We on that bitch playing once. First day, getting right out there, bump him up, and we playing once. Defensive game, not if, how many points you score, how many stops you get. Then we switch that. Went offensive. Yeah, but you got to. It, it think. was you and Giannis playing so, once. Dude, you got to think. I get on bus like. Off All Star break, right? In Minnesota, our first little practice. Shout out to the University of Minnesota. Shout out to the University of Minnesota. That's where we practice. I'm on bus. I, yeah, I know we hooping today. All Star break, we ain't, you feel me? When the coaches go, nah, no contact today. Ah, what? <laughs> they get me off this bus, man. <laughs> I ain't practicing today. Ain't no contact today. I ain't practicing. What the fuck, man? I go in that bitch. I dock, man. Contact, let's go. Yeah, we about to warm up. Okay, cool. All right, bet, let's go. But this is this is during practice, but the ones kick off before. Hmm. Before, big shit talking, big bumping, ah, oh, this, this, that, that, oh yeah. Great times. What was the thought of not going contact? Preserve I mean, body? I mean, season, we got some back-to-backs, we on the road a ton, so I understand it from that point. But we ain't practicing against each other. We need that bump. We need that bump. I yeah. need to hit Bobby Portis in the, in the pocket. I need to go, come on, Brooklyn. Let me come float you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't fucking guard. So, yeah, we, we practice. Damn. But you asked you ask the question. I don't see. I don't know. How did practice go? I knew you were going to ask. Belt to ass. What you talking about? <laughs> Belt to ass. In ones? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, we, no, no. Once, when once, uh, we played a de- defense again. I think I won two spots. Okay. And I think... I think we played an offensive game. I think Giannis won a couple spots. Got it. I'm not shocked. That guy can get to the fucking rim if he wants to. I mean, anytime. It's, so, it's pretty... Uh, no, no, we went five. So we went white against green. Oh, I thought you were going to say <laughs> you know white saying? against something else. No, no, no. Because so I'm go, like, Black Connaughton, AJ it's Green. <laughs> Who else? Lopez? Which team is hey, Lopez? So, so, so Gal would be with us then, right? No. No, you're not getting Gal. <laughs> Gal Lopez. No, relax. Connaughton, Green. No, man. So, yeah, we got, point. we got a hell of a practice, man. And that practice kicked off that Minnesota game. Okay. That practice, and we said it. We said it. I'm like, man, that, uh, this practice go propel us. And it did. It did. That's that little practice we got competed. Bumped some elbows, caused some motherfucking some bones. Yeah, trash. You can't fucking shoot. Yeah, me and Jay Crowder going at it back and forth, doing this. Yeah, fuck that. Bobby Porter's doing this thing. Yeah. Had a ball. Had a fucking ball. Practice was lit. It gave us that momentum that we needed for Minnesota. Yeah, between the you, Jay Crowder, and Bobby Porter, those are three guys who can talk, who wear their emotions on the sleeve. It seems like the three of you are kind of a heartbeat in some ways of the team. Yeah, toughness too. Not fake toughness. Mm. What does fake toughness mean? Because I feel like Draymond Green this week was talking about fake toughness about a, a certain guy. I mean, no. I, Grant Williams. I like Grant Williams. You feel me? I like I feel me. I, I ain't never known him to be tough, so I ain't saying like, you know, but I like his game. I like what he did in Boston, which I mean, he's, he was a, a big part of his success. But I wouldn't, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I mean, I've never looked at Grant Williams. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, me looking at Grant Williams has always been the same. I, I never looked at him as a, like a, 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 a tough guy. But, you know, he do take us to our team, so. I mean, I was watching the game closely today. You come off of a made basket. He's bumping in chest. Yeah. But that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Didn't seem like it knocked you off your game at all. Too little. <laughs> too little, buddy. <laughs> too fucking little. You've been giving out two littles like Halloween candy. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got a lot more treats in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. yeah, left and right. And I got on the other pockets with the two in the back. Yeah. Damn, so people are fucking going to be blessed with two littles. Yeah, 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 I've been having fun, man. I've been, I've been, man, I've been... I've been very excited, man. I just, like I said, shout out Coach Bud. I literally just moved in two days ago. And this is a temporary setup. We will have studio. <laughs> yeah, so bear with us. But for the time being, I, I mean, I think you could do a lot worse. The foliage, you know what I mean? Milwaukee's a beautiful city. No, beautiful city. Beautiful, peaceful. It's like kind of nice out today. And I, and I hear y'all out there. It's just so hard because, you know, Milwaukee fans, I'm a real like dialed in 
laser focused guy and I don't I don't do a lot of talking to fans during the game and I wish I could but I can't do that and stay focused on on, on my craft you know because I am at work and I am trying to you know win a bunch of games and hopefully a championship here so I hear y'all out there I hear y'all pat y'all subscribe I hear y'all out there Milwaukee man it's the welcoming has been great great um so I don't want y'all to think that uh, that goes unnoticed. No, hundred percent. Yeah, it's a beautiful city, and it's great. And y'all, y'all like what I like. Good old beer. <laughs> oh yeah, these folks drink their beer down here, <laughs> and I drink mine. Shout out to Milwaukee, baby. Yeah, shout out to Milwaukee, man. Yeah, if you see me, man, put me on a beer. Yeah, we need a beer. Or yeah. wait, there's a beer that only exists in Milwaukee, or, or I'm sorry, in Wisconsin. Like it's illegal to sell I this beer. Met. It was some guy that we just met. He gave us the name of the beer. You can't drink this. He's from Milwaukee. We met him in Philly. Because if you the, uh, if you drink it outside, like they they'll set up stings at bars on the coast in Minnesota to be like, hey, you're not supposed to be selling this beer here. We Shut met him at Lapstone down. and Hammer. Lapstone and Hammer, where I was at, and you wasn't. What you was on you this motherfucker. Let me see, let me tell y'all about wrong. Wrong so motherfucker big time. I'm out here. I'm out, big here. Time. I'm out here selling ass. <laughs> All right, I'm out here. I'm, I'm on the stroll selling ass. Um, you feel me? I got I'm I'm, I'm meeting with a bunch of people. I got I got game before. Man, Philly showed up, man. Philly showed up, lapsed on the hammer. They show up, they bought merch, they showed love, right? But I was there alone, wrong. Damn. I, I ain't no damn. I was there alone. Must, and I haven't talked you must to you have felt for, betrayed. No, I didn't feel betrayed. I, I didn't feel betrayed. I just felt like your ass should have been there. That's, that's that black white shit though. I should have canceled vacation. Black friend would have been there. Would have canceled vacation. Black, you heard what I said. I didn't. You want me to say it again? Let's start my third time. <laughs> black friend would have been there. Late. <laughs> there. <laughs> like, don't, don't listen. We still in Black History Month. Don't go too far down. <laughs> you're right. Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. But there. Yep. You're right. I need to be better. Nah. But then I call you. Then I miss call. You call back. I'm record. I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing the lapstone and hammer thing. I call Phone you back. Tag. Don't give you another answer. So now I think you. Oh, this motherfucker trying to play me. Play you. Not not only am I out here out here grinding for the pod for the Pat Biff and Roan podcast. Wait, that's the new name. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Pat Bev and Rome. Pat Bev and Rome podcast. <laughs> PB and R. Rip Rome. Let's go uh, back. Demotion. Well, Demotion. Right. Demotion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, damn, but no, um, for, for I'm, glad, I'm glad you weren't there because they gave me all the love. So I didn't have to share it. Exactly. Yeah, thank and you. you. Know I'm Shout out to with Philly, man. Y'all show love. Everybody that came out, man. Shout out to the gang, Lampstone and Hammer. All the boys were there, man. It was great. Yeah, and after the game, that everybody was showing love too. In the parking lot, I saw those clips. You're literally getting mobbed in the car, and I think it takes a special person to hop out of car. So we, so we, so so we played Minnesota, right? Minnesota was great. We were there three nights. All oh, Minnesota was great. Great walleye up there. It's one of my favorite fish. Shout out to the guys from uh, Famous, the restaurant Famous in uh, in Minnesota. Man, they they gave me my favorite pasta, the Pat Bear Special. Man, it was great. What kind of pasta is it? It's a, uh, it's like a Alfredo marinara mix, but 70 Alfredo, 30, 30 marinara, mm. right? Creamy. It's, 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 it's Parmesan and cheese on top. Mm. Seasoned medium steak mm. on top of that. Sliced up. Damn. So I was in Minnesota. They called it the Pat Bear Special. We need to get a place in Milwaukee that's Chef and Pat Bev special. Yeah, so, uh, side of beer. Well, so it was good. It was good seeing old faces. It was good seeing old teammates. And three, so three days you're up there. You play a basketball game. It must have been like you're running into everybody, former players. You must have said hi to former coaches. Probably were eager to talk to you. No. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> you <Yeah, so. laughs> uh, No. That's interesting. I saw a tweet that Finch, you put out that, that said that uh, your, your uh, former coach Finch didn't want to say what's up to you after the game. And that's my dog, too. But I understand, you know, probably in their in their mind, probably bad loss. Number one team, you won four or five games at home in a row. You protect the home court, first game off break. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so in their mind, they, 
he was probably angry, you know what I'm saying? Or just wanted to get out of there. But yeah. You said that after the- Me and B's, we both like, damn. I, damn, Finchie didn't say what's up to you? Like, nah. Like, damn, he just walked off. At least I, it's both I, I spoke to him, yeah. but like, no no word. I, damn, Finchie, what's up, bro? Give me a hug. Like, he looked at me, gave me, and kept walking. I, damn. Damn, all right. What do you think that was due to? I don't know, just disappointment. But you, they played us in Philly. They beat, I mean, we played them, Philly played them in Minnesota. He's the first one to come up. Yeah, Pat Bev, I thought, because he was on the back to back. I thought when you were with me, you didn't play back to backs and gave me hugs and cracked jokes with me. And, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, was it something you said? No, nothing. It's crazy, but, you know, it's part of it. We'll see him again. Yeah, that's uh, unsettling. Well, at least this stuff must have gone better in Nurse Philly. Nurse did the same thing. What? Though. Yeah, I, I tweet that, though. Damn. Nurse did the same thing. I thought Nurse was the bro. I thought he was friend of Pod. Yeah. Him. Yeah, Nurse, after the game, they walked right off. And mind you, mind you, I look at everything. I look at, okay, cool, ways. Okay, cool, game is about to be over. How many coaches wave to the other coaches at the end of the game? They show respect. How many coaches wave to other coaches before the game? Like, I want to be a coach. So I'm trying to pick up the coach's mannerism too. You know what I'm saying? The coaching culture. Throughout my career. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Boy, he walked right out. Damn. And I'm, I'm there when I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm behind him walking out like, damn, it's, it's taking a while to get out of here because, you know, he say what's up to a couple guys. But this time he was, I didn't even see Nurse at damn. all. I didn't see Nurse at all, at all. Who else did you talk to after that game? I saw you talking to Ricky Council Jr. for a little bit. For a little bit. I talked I talked to mostly all the guys. I talked to uh, mostly all the coaches, uh, except Nurse. Any interactions stand out? Nah, I, I just, damn, damn, Nurse. What the fuck Nurse said? You can't speak? Interesting. Yeah, that's, you know me. I like calling motherfuckers out. Yeah. But, but it's cool. It's a competitive sport. Like, motherfuckers being their feelings. You could tell that you were being, you, you were really competitive. Nurse. Had him on a pod. What you mean? I thought he and I bonded well. Yeah, you feel me? Like, or am I getting my feelings too involved when it comes to maybe? You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Maybe I'm 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 giving myself to organizations and giving myself to to coaches to implement their systems and everything, and then it's like that. Do you think there's maybe you're even looking too much into it? No, because I feel it. That's very interesting. I mean, I think that uh, you know it has to be a frustrating time in Philly. I feel like Philly's like uh, man, Philly was so fucking great. Oh my god, you should have seen it, man. It was ah, oh, went out there to shoot. Little kids were everywhere, man. It was a vibe, man. I seen faces that I, I I seen on the other side, but I seen on on the other side, you know, going out and I try to make sure I sign every autograph, every hug, every handshake, every. Like it was great, man. It was great. My brother-in-law so texted me before. And the I game. hated to Oof. I hated to tweet the belt the ass. I hated it. I know. I, saw I it hated it. And I'm like, ah, I hate it. I hated it. But it was necessary. But no, my brother-in-law tweeted me or texted me before the game. He's like, I'm at Xfinity, the bar across the street. He said, There's so many subscribe hoodies everywhere that he looks around there. Like, obviously, the love. You saw the videos after the game. You heard the people in the stadium. And I think it's important to note that like every little pocket of the internet isn't necessarily indicative of how people feel. Cause there's definitely genuine love coming from Philadelphia. Like there's people are really, yeah, real genuine love. They're, they're really like, I mean, people are showing up at the, at the event, like deep, like you're on another team. You know what I mean? You don't play for them. You almost play for, you're playing for a team that's playing against them yeah, they and they're show showing love. up in numbers. They show love. That really is a testament to the but people of Philly. But I want Philly to understand too, like the sacrifices I made too. Right. Like, mind you, I'm a 16 year pro. 13 year in the NBA, 12 NBA. Like, when the team got two G League guys in California this, this summer, meeting up, Pat Bev there, week one. Pat Bev there, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six. Didn't miss, didn't miss a week all the way up into training camp. You know what I'm saying? I want you to really understand what I'm saying. But guys don't, some guys don't even show up until training camp. Mm. I'm there six weeks, six weeks before. Rico Hines run. Okay, cool. Y'all there five days. I'm going to show up three, four days. Okay, cool. Y'all y'all here four days? Okay, I'm going to show up two, three days. Oh, y'all here uh, five days throughout the week? Cool. I'm going to be there four days. Playing like you're literally an undrafted rookie. You don't say shit to me? What type of shit is that? 
Uh, so interesting trials and tribulations in Philly. Then you come back, play against uh, the the Hornets, yeah. who have been playing well recently. Yeah, they have been playing really well. They have been playing really well. They made some trades. They got better. Uh, they got uh, more little, little experience. I like Brandon Miller. Uh, like, I mean, I'm, I'm I've always been a fan of Greg Williams. I, I think he's a winner. Yeah. Um, man, uh, uh, Seth Curry, Seth Curry uh, coming off the bench. So yeah, it's even though he kicked that foot out at you, you know what man, I mean? What he was on. Offensive. What he was on with me. <laughs> and we get, you know, for us, we, you know, you get off as a foul. That's a hundred dollars. So you know, I can't wait to co collect tomorrow on the plane. <laughs> Who pays that? I don't know. Really, don't care. <laughs> Give me my money. Someone better pay the man his money. Mm -hmm. Pay that the man his money. <laughs> he needs it. So you're on plane tomorrow. I recently just got a plane hack that changed my fucking life. And it's not even really a hack. Okay, tell I me should tell be, I should have been up on this, but I was fucking lacking. Well, people love plane hacks. And I would be like, I would catch myself bored as shit on a plane. I'd be like, why is this? It's my fault. I wasn't bringing the iPad on plane with shows downloaded. And now on this trip, flew out to Bro, Milwaukee you're a decade today. behind. I'm a fucking decade behind, dude. I'm fucking asleep over here. I'm fucking lacking. Today, I hop on plane. I have... Me and wifey at the crib like this. Okay, babe, you download that one. I'm going to download this <laughs> one, okay? What you mean? You, you download episode one, two, three. I got four, five, six. And when your shit go off, my shit should... Wait, but how do you listen to it? One, one headphone, ear. One, one ear, one ear. Locked in. Because I think with the new ones, you can put two on the same one. Man, we locked in. Yeah. Yeah. And we got the and, and we got the one that's 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 on the outside both because it's not a lot of noise on the inside. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, uh, so, they, so, so if you put one right here, you hear this. This guy over here, a guy cough. You looking over here, bathroom door opens. A woman, you want water, you want orange juice, you know stuff like that. But you put it over here. They usually don't even mess with you because they you, you look busy. You feel <laughs> then all the minimal the minimal sound is coming from here. You really don't hear anything. Game. Yeah, a little hack. A little hack. It's game. Put yeah, me the yeah, fuck yeah. on. If you with wifey, y'all try that out. It works. Well, so so if we're on and that you topic. You just found out about it? I mean, I didn't find out. I'm fucking a lazy piece of shit and I should have been on top of it already. Listen, you're a good friend and you're not lazy. It's okay. It's okay. I can I can uh, I can take accountability for myself. Okay. That was a lazy ass fucking move and, and I should have been on it. And and you wasn't a good friend. You left me hanging. And I didn't show up in Philly. I owe you one. In Philly, your hood. I should have canceled the vacation. My black friend would have. <laughs> hey guys, let's take a second and talk about DraftKings. Are you all about NBA action? Wait, don't answer that because I already know the answer. The answer is yes. Well, we have a very exciting new opportunity for you to be able to maximize your interest in the NBA. It's specifically called Pick 6, the newest fantasy app from DraftKings, an official partner of the NBA. Right now, new customers can pay just 5 bucks on their first pick set and get 50 and pick six credit. So you put in five bucks and you can get 50 bucks in pick six credit. Getting started is simple. Just download the DraftKings pick six app and use code Roan. They gave me my very own code. That's just the kind of love that they got over there at DraftKings. You pick at least two hoops players and choose if they'll have more or less of a stat. Like, will they score more or less than 30 points? Will they have more or less than eight assists? Lock them in and compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. I am talking Mondo. I'm talking Mumbo Jumbo cash prizes. That big stuff. Download the DraftKings Pick 6 app now and get started with Code Roan. New customers can play just 5 bucks to get 50 in Pick 6 credits. Only on Pick 6 from DraftKings. DraftKings with Code Roan. The crown is yours. Guys, let's take a second and talk about cars.com. Cars.com, the leading digital marketplace to find you your next car. Let the good folks over at cars.com play matchmaker for you and your perfect car. Because let me tell you what, Pepef, that car is out there somewhere and it's just waiting for you to find it. You want a Honda, you want a Hyundai, you want a Toyota. You want a Tacoma. You want something weird, cool that you've never even really looked into or delved into before. Well, good luck 
because the folks over at cars.com will be able to help you over 25 years of experience. That's a long time in the game. Those are the bona fides that you need to find good inventory, to finance, and to sell your cars. And they have up to 50,000 cars added every single day to cars.com. Shop over 2 million cars for 2 million possibilities. Pat, I don't know. I might just get a car out of here in Milwaukee to ride around the strip and check out the rivers here because man is this city beautiful but not as beautiful as the good folks over at cars.com find your next possibility on cars.com where to next while we're on the topic of you and wifey watching tv together (laughs) um is there any shows that when you're sitting on the couch and she has the remote Uh that she started putting you onto that you are now a fan of because for me, I could, I could, while you're thinking about it, I can tell you my answer. And it's the Real Housewives franchise. And tonight at the Milwaukee Bucks game, I'm lucky enough to meet the entire cast of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And when I tell you, I was geeking the fuck out. I tell you, you want to get that off too, I see. I was sweating on my, I was sweating from my armpits. I was so excited to meet these women. At an NBA game. At an NBA game. They were filming. At your first Milwaukee NBA game. Yeah, shout out to the, the team president, Peter. He brings me into the room. Shout out to Peter, man. And he he tried to holler at me one time. It was before a game, man. But I'm super locked. You know, like I'm saying, I'm super dialed in. I know, I, I know he was looking at me like this motherfucker here. But no, <laughs> shout out to Peter. I heard you. We go, we go have dinner. We go chop bread. Tell me, I'm sorry. I'm he was just the right. nicest dude. He was the nicest dude Love possible. That, he Love couldn't. That. Have, he was. He was just like, come, yo, you're a fan of them. Like, come meet. I was like, my wife like loves this show. What, dude? He was like, I know your whole backstory. I follow all the blah blah blah. Like, he was so nice, so welcoming. He was like, come on, like they're fighting. We'll get in the background of a scene. Like, we'll be on TV. I'm, he's like, you got to try oh, that's the, fire. the shrimp cakes, dude. I'm trying the shrimp cakes. They're fuck the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City are fighting. I'm living in a fever dream, dude. I was living my fucking best life. <laughs> Love that. So anyway, what shows do you watch with your wife? Uh, currently, at any time, The Crown. The royal family show? Yeah. You love the royal family. I love royalty. Any royalty? Any. Started in the jungle together and you raised your whole family in the jungle. It was a movie. I forgot the name of the movie. Oh, my God. Lion King? No. It sounds like the the Lion King. Oh, my God. I'm forgetting. I I find Black Panther? No. Uh, Coming to America? No. They literally raised, like, live, born adults in jungle. Jungle Book? No, not. Out of Africa? No. It was like one of those uh, weird names. They had the big earrings in the ear. They had the. They didn't speak. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop guessing. They hunted, I'm, all type of wild. It was great. I'm gonna but start, yeah, I'm into royalty though. You think they'll let you be a royal one day? I am a royal. Facts. I am royalty. No one's ever did what I did. Where I'm from. Wow. One of one. One of one. Do you strive to build an empire? I am currently. Really? Yeah. You ever watch that show Empire? Uh, I'm a power type of guy, but I know I know of it. Yeah, the store, the rise of canon. Yeah, hey, no, I'm, 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 you know, little James St. Patrick vibe. Oh, okay. Recipes ghost. <laughs> Damn. If you know, you know. But yeah, royalty is very important to me. Interesting. There's a lot of people that dislike royalty for the uh, for what it represents. Well, but not everyone's gonna like you. That's one thing that I've learned through this life. And doing a pod with me, you should know that now. Yeah, but a lot of people do like you. Actually, so many people are like, wow, I like Papev so much more now that I've seen his perspective through the podcast. Yeah. Do you feel that? Everyone's narratives change. Like, you, you see me, you see dreads, you see how I act on the court, and it's like, this fucking asshole, who the fuck does he think he is? Motherfucker, averages six points, he's out there. But then you hear backstory and you, then you see the sacrifices and then you see the work continue to put in. And then you see, man, age where he's playing great. And you, you you starting to see all of it come together. And it's like, you know what? Fucking love, Pep F. Not only am I, you know, I give people a different perspective, but I give it's, you know, you look at my perspective and you're like, damn, you got a point. You know what I'm saying? So you respect it more than like just. You know, neglect, like deflecting it, like oh, whatever he says, whatever. Damn. He does have a point, too, like a fifth of a gram, bro. That's fucking crazy. Uh, chill. No, that's that's borrowed from bro. Uh, chill. That's why I said chill. <laughs> um, but no uh, drugs, no drugs, wait, no is that someone at the door right there? It is. Tyler, get the door. What the? Smells bad, man. 
Hey, 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 come here, man. What's up, bro? You be everywhere. Everywhere. How the fuck you pop up at my house like that, man? Bro, just Absolutely. What the fuck? I don't know. Hold up, we have a mic. We give him a mic. We got another mic here. Does that work? Chat, chat, chat. One, Does two, three. <laughs> we good, Tyler? <laughs> we good. Are we? Hey, Just... Mantis, man. I said you popping up at my motherfucking house like this, man. You look good, buddy. Oh, thank you. I you appreciate it. Hey, sick fit. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, that's my first bus jam tonight. Wait, what jersey Ooh. is that? Let camera see the jersey. Yeah, uh, that's a 2022 uh, Patrick Beverly twin <laughs> ball jersey. Right. You see the jet on this? Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> look. No, yeah. Hey, Mantis, man. We're one to know. Every time you come to a game, we win. I was put it there. Love. You're welcome. Hey, listen. Every time Ron comes to a game, we lose. A lot. A lot. Oh. <laughs> a lot. Like, not only lose, it's record breaking. <laughs> lose 60 <laughs> points. Wow, shit. Don't say that. That breaks my heart. We we won tonight. We did because it was Mantis. Fuck. <laughs> you out there having uh, shrimp tacos with a lot of house. I mean, uh, uh, the, the Salt Lake house City Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom was in a different place. Wait, were people were confusing you for Pat Bev tonight? They actually thought I was you, bro. It was crazy. I don't like 50 photos. Like, Yo, what up, Pat? I was like, what's up, twin? Like, okay. Like, here we are. Man, nobody thought that. I swear. No, I swear. It's on, it's on TikTok. <laughs> it's on you right now. Hey, listen. I'm, I'm going through Instagram. Right. And you know me. I'm on the internet. I see everything. I'm literally on the internet all the time. I see Matt's is going to. Vegas, mind you, I follow Mantis. Like I have to see everything he's doing now. I'm intrigued. I mean, that's that's twin. That's triplet. Right, triplet. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I see Mantis LeBron fit on. Sign say, "Come get picked with LeBron." Photo with LeBron. Then I see Mantis burger this big restaurant to make you put on a gown. Oh wait, that's like the oh with Joey Chestnut. That was that was two weeks ago. This was the Heart Attack Grill. The oh, the Heart. Yo, wait, no, you know what the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas is, right? You know people actually die at the Heart Attack Grill. Yeah. Like people have multiple people have had heart attacks at the Heart Attack Grill because they're just serving up absolute slop there. I need some slop out there. It's been like three weeks. But no, dude. It also like <laughs> you. Know, I almost got killed from like I got spanked from the nurse. Yeah, yeah. if you couldn't finish, you got to get a spanking. Yes. What? Three spanks. One, it was two, beating three. his ass. Mm -hmm. Who? A they woman put him, or my they waitress? Put him in a wheelchair. Yeah. What? Because if you don't finish your food, they spank you out the, before you go out the door. Damn, bro, you've really been grinding on your YouTube, uh, on your Thank YouTube you. shit since you. Uh, hey, I mean, shout you, out to YouTube. Young Mantis too. Young Mantis too. Young Mantis too. Man, y'all subscribe. Y'all follow. Because Mantis that was at Barstool, and now Mantis. Uh, they told. People. I asked. I asked. So you know me. I'm like, hey, yo, Dave. He's like, yeah, you know, you used to work here. Uh oh. So why doesn't he work here anymore? He, I had to fire him. Uh, <laughs> why? He, he's bringing girls to the office all the time. Oh, my God. I was there that day. He brought a girl on a date to the office. Yeah, he said, in fact, he was doing it all the time. I, okay. Well, that's the reason why should get fired. They posted up right at the bar in the office. They just were, you know, the bar, like the U-shaped bar at the bar stool office. He was just posted they up. They loves him, though. Of course he does. He loves him to death. Of course he does. But also a lot of people come to Barstool and then they, they leave and then like you really don't hear from them again. No. And I think to give you your flowers, like you really have done a good job of building a online presence and a YouTube presence. Yeah. You pop up virally all over the place. They said he did 70K in one month. That's some shit. 100K in two months. God no, wait, wait, Was it one a month? Two months. 70K in one month. 70K in one month. Yeah, shout out to my team right here. I got, I got security. I got photographers, show, show, video show, show, I got show, a, whole, show, a whole team right show here, the man. Squad, show the squad. Whole team. Hell yes, bro. So, uh, I mean, what what's like? What's what other videos you have? What what other viral moments you have cooked up? What's the key to the viral moment? Funny you said that. We got uh, about three weeks from now. I'm going to be locking myself in a gym until I hit 100 free throws in a row. So you'll do the live joint? Yep. Ooh, no, that's yeah. gonna be fire! And your, your record ninety eight, right? Ninety eight. So it's it's gonna happen. That's fire. When, so when is it? Uh, about three weeks from now. Definitely during March Madness. We got some celebrities coming in. We got uh, Anthony Richardson coming in. Where y'all shooting it at? Uh, Carmel, Indiana. 
Mm. They got good free throw shooters out there. I saw all, we, all we had was 10 to 1. <laughs> yeah, how, how close is Pat Bev? Is Pat Bev invited? We, am I, we might, oh, of course you am I close? You're twin. Of course you are. <laughs> and just, just don't tell, of course. But I'm like, right. no, like all of you guys, yeah. Who do you on the list? I, bro, because <laughs> I, I saw the uh, the clip of you fucking <laughs> splashing the three at the pickup game. Only Basically, only white dude in the building. Did you see that clip? He literally just showed it to me. It was It's preposterous. And I think he almost got into a fight. The guy didn't know what to do. He was oh, in his no, head. Oh, no, he means the... He meant the YMCA video. You mean the one that was uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, two yeah. weeks ago. I'm talking about the Y video I just seen. I didn't see that one. I was showing the YMCA. Yeah, no, I was, they, they respect my kind there. They, uh, they let me <laughs> shoot. So it used to be where, like, they would never, no one would ever pick me or I would get picked. I'd be like, oh, hey, buddy, you got a next game. And four hours later, I'd still be standing there. But now That's it's like, fucked up, too. That's not basketball etiquette. It's not no, supposed it's to go not, like that. No, no, I'll be, no real shit. I'll be, I'll be there at 7 a.m., jump up at 8, and I still got nets. It's like, but now, now the tables have turned because I was, oh, man, just, bro, you want to hoop with us? I'm like, right, right, right. come on, man, let's do it. Like, okay, so tell me how you got your shot going like that. Like, uh, not only question. the the form, but the consistency with which you're splashing yeah so it all started when i was born unfortunately and uh, when i came out they couldn't find out what was wrong with me like it's not like i have an undiagnosed condition there's no name for what i have it's like well i'm, I'm bent that's my brand my, my physique but I, i'm it's not stoliosis not lombardosis none of that is so how do you up. feel like you feel healthy every like what what's the hardest thing like Just everyday up, life picking up chicks definitely that's just an insane really hard but I can hit like threes and hit free throws. But you feel fit? Do you feel physically good? I do, yeah. Uh, no, well, actually, last week I've been eating in and out every day because I was on a bachelor party in Vegas. But so we're trying to detox from that. But other than that, no, yeah, I don't have any um, That's pain dope. or. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope as fuck. That's dope. And it's just the girls. Yes. Interesting, but I feel like that's a grind you've been on. I mean, you're bringing dates to the barstool office. I feel like you've, uh, you know what I mean. It's not like. There's a lack of effort, and I think that you've probably done a lot better than you would have if you were just, like, scared, fucking cursing the world for, like, uh, not bringing everything to your doorstep. His confidence is one of one. It's key. It, it's, like, his confidence is, it was great. Meeting him the first time, like, not, you mind, you mind, I, I don't know one thing about this young man. One thing, Dave was just like, oh, yeah, he could fucking burn it, but check him out. And, they, and I seen him. And obviously you look at the physique and you you want to feel bad, but just the confidence he has, it makes you be like, you know what, man? That's what's up. So I want to give you your flowers, bro. Shit's impressive. Really Thank impressive. You. Love, guy. I appreciate it. Yes, bro. Shit. Appreciate you, dude. You're the man. Check out his stream. Uh, he's going 100. I mean, you'll probably do that shit in like fucking two hours, dude. Honestly, it's not going to take that long. 100 consecutive free throws. He can burn it, though. Carmel, Indiana. He can he fucking burns. burn it. I believe it, dude. I've seen it with my own eyes. I can't wait. My boy shoots from the hip. Hip. Fuck out of here. Get out the way. He. <laughs> he. <laughs> he. Yeah. he. That shit went fucking. He. That shit went uh, triple platinum, that cliff. That definitely went viral on every platform. Dude, the amount of people that like, walked up to me and just like just talked about the clip and all that, it's, it's insane. It's like when, you, when you're in Philadelphia, all your fans mobbing you, it's like every now it's like, like yo, dude, Pat Bev, like, yo, that was insane. Like, it's, just, it's the same way. You have to understand. I'm on the internet. It's the same thing, bro. You and Mantis, bro. You need to do pie. Fuck wrong. That's what they told me, bro. Like, so I didn't want to say it to you. I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad. Sorry, sorry, little bro. Ah, I love that. Triplet, bro. We're wo woven like a braid, bro. Appreciate you, man. Uh, go check out his uh, YouTube for sure. Young Mantis, too. Appreciate it, fellas. Okay. Man. And if you want to sponsor my free throws, Hit me up. Y'all hear that? Any sponsors that want to do his free throws, hit him up. Boy's viral. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He, he tough. I fucking love Mantis, man. Bro, but what was he doing in your fucking living room? Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hey, he went to the game tonight. I told you, man. Coach Bud's living room, yeah, right. dude. <laughs> Bud and Mantis. <laughs> Mantis and Bud. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking yeah, a vibe. It really does. Right, Mantis, draw me up some plays. Oh my Love God. Love that. Pat, I want to talk to you about a new sponsor that we have called Rocket Money. Okay. Now, let me explain Rocket Money. Because you might have some subscriptions on your phone and they're cluttered in there. You don't know what you subscribe to. Did you subscribe to a mental health app? Did you subscribe to some kind of video service? Did you maybe subscribe twice to some kind of music service? Well, 
those subscriptions could be building up and lingering behind the scenes and you're really not even aware how much you're paying. Luckily, the good folks over at Rocket Money will give you a personal finance app that will completely clear out and cancel unwanted subscriptions. It'll monitor all of your spending and it'll help you lower your bills so you can grow your savings. Doesn't that sound nice, growing your savings? A little bit more cash in the pocket. Rocket Money has over 5 million users. So that means you'd be joining 5 million of your closest friends. And these folks have saved over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. That's a insane marketplace of subscriptions that are just festering in the background of people's phones. And I mean... It's up to $740 per member per year when using all of the app's features. There's so much good stuff going on over at Rocket Money. You need to get involved today. Stop wasting your money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash papbev. That's rocketmoney.com slash papbev. Rocketmoney.com slash papbev. Guys, the papbev pod is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka, born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. New Amsterdam Vodka, your partner in crime anytime you want to have the night of your life. Anytime that you want to catapult yourself into the most fun you've ever had, make sure that New Amsterdam is there along taking you for the ride because, man... It'll be a ride. Strap the seatbelt in. Lower the bar on the log flume. You're about to be going over a cliff of happiness, and there is no gravity that is going to bring you to Earth faster than the pure joy of having a nice, crisp, smooth New Amsterdam vodka. If you're out for a drink night with the fellas, if you're out having some dinner with the gang, you want to order a round of shots, if you want to have a mule, Cosmopolitan, if you want to just have a dirty martini, well, New Amsterdam vodka is going to be your partner in crime, just like I said, for that magical occasion. They're born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka, and they're the official vodka of not only Barstool Sports, but of the Papev Pod. Hey, folks, find your wins today with New Amsterdam Vodka. We got to talk about Dave. No, Miss Peaches. Oh, Miss Peaches. Yeah, that dog bad as hell. That dog has been eating up shit, eating Wallace, biting hats, this, this, that, that. I'm talking about dog has been god awful. The biggest star that's come out of Barstool, period. Miss Peach, you gotta, you gotta say it because everyone says it. Oh, Miss Peach, <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> Did it's you the way he said, Miss Peaches. Peaches. Oh, you don't want to go outside, Miss Peaches. That oh, dog is Ms. a fucking superstar. Dog, superstar. I don't care who you're talking about, call her daddy, Pat McAfee, fucking Pat Bev, whatever fucking star you're talking about that's come out of Barstool, Miss Peaches is a bigger star. Miss Peaches. Shout out to Miss Peaches. She's at a, a I know over you watch half million. Listen, I know Dave I watches know the she's pod, watching. so she's watching the pod also. Dave Shout puts out on to pod, she chews up remote, he can't change channel. And you know what? Fuck that. If y'all if y'all a real, real, real one, and y'all fuck with the pod, I mean love the pod, send all voice notes of your Miss Peaches. <laughs> it's how they can do it. DM us. Yeah, DM, DM, DM us. us on any platform. DM us on any platform of your Miss Peaches sound, and we're going to make a whole like edit skit about it. Miss and Peaches, dude, it's, it's and dope. Put music you. behind it and like show her every time they say it. Straight up. Shout out to Miss Peaches, man. Dude, it's dope that he is uh, uh, like really pushing the adoption, the dog adoption no, thing. No, that's great. That he's raising that no, much that money. Great. It's the Lifelong Animal Project in Atlanta. For Miss Peaches, they've raised like 277000 yeah, so far. It's and count and count. The t-shirt, go buy a t-shirt. The, the merch is great. Yeah. I mean, adopt, adopt, don't shop. You know what I mean? I'm a, I, I adopted my dog, adopted both of them. Lost, lost one. Wow. Rest in peace. One for two. Sure, 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 sure. Don't, don't get sentimental here. Be, be, be strong. <laughs> be solid. All right. For Miss Peaches, I will. <laughs> Miss, Miss Peaches is uh, like literally a superstar. And uh, I think your next dog you get, you got to adopt it, bro. So check it out. Quick story, right? This is how much of a 
Okay, I'll let y'all know after the story. So I want dog, right? Right. But I don't want big dog because old guy in the hood who raised me hit me with the, you don't have to be the biggest dog to be the biggest dog. <laughs> so I'm like, fuck it. Give me Yorkie. For, right? The big ass houses I got. Get the fly drop, private jets, you know, chill on private beaches. Yeah, give me a fucking Yorkie, right? right. So I hit my connect, Miss Shelby, my, my, like, she handles all my, my, my concierge. I mean, she's literally the biggest concierge lady I've ever known in my life. Shout out to Miss Shelby. Um, I know you watch the pod. I love you. Um, I'm Miss Shelby. I need dog. She, okay, Pat, whatever you want. I, I need mail. I want Yorkie. She, miniature side, I don't care. Whatever you have available, right? I send ASAP. She, dog, get on plane. We send. My girl. Hey, what's up, babe? How you doing? Yeah, I'm just trying to find out. Uh, Sophia, just out the blue. Sophia says she wants a dog. Da, 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 da. Ah, hmm, interesting. Babe, I got a dog on the way right now. Mind you, the dog is named Ace and everything, right? I give her Ace. Cool, that's y'all dog. My mom has a Yorkie who's awful, right? God awful. Mind you, my mom has pit bull also. Like, Pat, you got to take this dog. This dog will fuck around and get killed in this house. Like, seriously. Like, the, the dog is off. Pissing on dogs. He's pissing on... He's shitting on, on towels. He's pissing on clothes. Like, the dog is off. His name is my dog currently. Coop. Coop. I take Coop. Right? You got rid of Ace, took in Coop. Took in Coop. Right? Over All-Star break, every time I come to L.A., I always see Ace. Right? Mind you. I had Ace first, like in my hand. He was a baby, like me first. Every time I come to the house, Ace goes crazy. He lays on me right here. He's the best dog. It was like he was actually like, like my girl be looking at me like, damn, he loves you more than anybody. He's literally like draped up on me like this. Lick me. I have to tell him stop licking me in my face. I go home another night, man. We play Philly. I coop, man. Come here, coop. He look at me, put his fucking head down, turned his eyes. <laughs> Coop hates you. I mean, bro, I, I got I, for real. I got real shit going on, man. What? For real, man. Man, Coop, he, I, he's probably mad because I've been gone so long. Yeah, I've been, I've been on the grind. Coop, you can't get mad at me, bro. Yeah, what? He's trying to put you in mansion. I'm trying. I'm literally. He lives in mansion. He's currently in mansion. Right. Only but thing outhouse he knows the is penthouse. Mansion. That's Miss Peach's story. You know what I'm saying? Like, or maybe he needs to spend more time in the outhouse so he could appreciate the way that Miss Peaches does. Man, listen, not not too much on my dog. Only I could do too much on my dog. Okay. Okay. So yeah, uh, life is great. <laughs> Life is fucking great, yeah. So you're adopting next dog or what? Uh, fuck it, yeah. I'm adopt next dog. For Dave. For Dave and Miss Peaches. And do it for Miss Peaches. You'll be able to adopt. You could adopt a Yorkie. You could find a Yorkie. Someone will probably want to, someone will probably find a litter of them. Be like, hey, Pat Bad needs another Yorkie, a good one. Well, Cooper's good. It's just he's, he's he going through jealous. it. Yeah, yeah. he's it's jealous. It's complicated, it dude. It's tough it, being a dog. It, it is. A, a rich dog. <laughs> A wealthy dog. I know it's, it's depressing. Well, we got the man on PJ. We done took the man to motherfucker Laguna. That this the Ritz in Laguna. He's he's at the table. Hey, we have a we have a dog man. Ah, you have a dog man. You <laughs> ah, let me see that motherfucker. Hey, yeah, grilled chicken. We have the broccoli. So he put his plate up there on the table with us. It's like three All Star breaks ago. When I used to play when I used to play in Minnesota. We on a private. He on a private. He chilling. He at the table at the in, in, in Laguna Beach Hotel eating with us. What? Shit, a coupe was spoiled rotten, man. Silverware? I'm, no, he was just, he had a little thing around his neck just going out there. What? Yes, yeah, true story. They no have cap. a fucking dog menu? I mean, I decide to treat my animals. How do you treat yours? You can give them canned food, huh? No. Oh. I use the farmer's dog. Okay, not bad. Very good. Bad. It's all, all good ingredients. I'm training the fuck out of this dog. Okay, say less. I'm I'm working on this dog every day, pl playing with it, wrestling with it. And we're doing all this without Chris Middleton. It's crazy. <laughs> Talking about dogs. <laughs> Bro, that, that's a fucking dog right there. Without Chris Middleton. What? Like. Imagine when Chris Middleton comes out, comes back. We got, we got a chance. I mean, it really goes back to the first conversation that we had that it's like you need to focus on moment to moment because if yeah. you get too caught up in how so, deep this so roster correct. is, yeah. Yeah. you can be like, oh, fuck, like this could go. But it's like, well, hold up. One time. One moment at a time. And that's what I was talking about. 11 starters. Yeah. Right. You got the five that start now, the five that come off the bench. Right. Me, PC, BP. Bobby Portis, right. PC means Pat Connaughton, Gallinari, 
And I'm missing somebody. Jay. Jay. Jay Crowder. I'm talking about who comes out the yeah, Jay Crowder. Once Middleton's back. Yeah, once Middleton's back. And then eleven to Nassis. Yeah. Nice to start for me any day. Yeah, I mean, A.J. Green, you got even our young guys. Feel Bo Chant. Yeah, They can be really good on the team, but you're talking about 10 guys who are going to start it over seven years in their career. It's fucking nuts. No, nah, it's a blessing. Let's whip around some NBA stuff. You got to shout out the management, too. To, to have all that on one team, management did a hell of a job. I mean, the way they built that team is pretty fucking incredible. Speaking about oh, oh, belts to ass. Yeah. Motherfuckers literally been getting punches to face. Jesus Shit been Christ, wild. Bro. Been fighting. Which one are you starting off with? Stewart, Eubanks. Yeah. I mean that Detroit situation. I feel like there's a lot of talking that goes on in the NBA. Rarely do we see a punch thrown. Yeah. And we saw we Very saw a, a punch actually thrown. What does it take for it to get to a situation like I don't that? Know. I ain't never punched nobody. Huh? I've never punched nobody. I ain't never punched nobody. But I feel like you. It's crazy, motherfucker. Get three games for a punch. I get three games for a shove. System's broken, bro. <laughs> the system is broken. You should have shoved someone in the tunnel uh, then, uh, or, or should have shoved somebody in the face. Yeah, if I'm gonna get three. If I'm gonna get three games, I might you get might my, well earn it. Right? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. The system's broken. I feel like Stewart's always getting into a little bit of uh, like that's a tough like, guy. They just need a good vet over there. Yeah, they just need a good vet because you can harness that and use that another way. Hey, hey Stewart, you can become a. A Ben Wallace who can hit corner threes, right? Got somebody, you know, a good vet around and probably they, you know, they, they're trying and but it's a mixture of everything, you know. It's a mixture of like, okay, cool. I used to be high temper, I used to be wanting to fight. Okay, cool. Let's direct that. Let's put that energy somewhere else. Let's use that. And put it so you just need some good vets. You respect the move at all? Punching someone? Um I used to, and the older I got, I don't anymore. Why? I don't know. I'm real big in religion. And and in my Bible it says, uh, someone slaps you on the, on the cheek, give him the other one. Interesting. You think Eubank should have just said, offered other cheek? I don't know. No, you're in that position. You're a grown man. You want to defend yourself. I get it. You know, but we are human, right? We all make mistakes. So I know I've made a ton of mistakes when it comes to. Yeah. Punching people. Yeah. Yeah. So, when was the last time you punched someone? Long time ago. Good. I mean, it seems like the the Pistons are going through it because I see Monty Williams in a fucking post game press conference. He's beleaguered after that Knicks game. I don't know if you saw the ending to I the did. game. I did. That's a tough call, though. That's a tough call for any ref, right? Right. Because although, although. Man, it's gonna be a hell of a take, man. People go take this the wrong way, but I'm trying to see how to say it. Although you're coaching a game, you know the team. Although you're refing a game, you know the team that you're refing. Right. You know the Detroit Pistons. Right. Worst team in the NBA. Right. I'm not saying that's why I was a no call, but it's tough to make a call like that, a bang bang call like that. At you in the garden, you playing against the Pistons, like. Hard. You think Monty Williams should have called a timeout when they had ball right away? I don't know. Right, right, right. I don't know. Every coach has his own philosophy, so. You think that's a foul? A hundred percent. It's not even close. Actually, it should have been reviewed. It might have been flagrant. So do you think he's justified? Yeah, yeah. He's justified, of course. But you just understand why that that call isn't made in a situation like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because if that was, you know what I'm saying, if that was. If that's play in game, you want that call? I guess yes, right? I guess yes. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's playing game, hell yeah, I want that call. So you think that worse NBA teams get refed with less leniency? I mean, I don't get ref. I'm 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 not going into a game and refs are looking to give me twelve free throws a night. But with other players, with the Lucas, okay, cool. He might shoot 16 free throws tonight. Different players, right? Same with teams. While we're going around the NBA, I think that we should make a stop right here in Milwaukee because I saw a clip the other day specifically highlighting Dame Lillard's defensive effort. Mm. You Have you noticed an uptick in his defensive effort? And if so, what do you think that's due to? 
I go up to Dan and they say, hey, you got straps? Guns? It's in the car. Ah, hell no. Defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play, I play these when I had to. But I've been in situations where I had to, so. But he's been really good defensively. Yeah, he and it's not just, I mean, it's effort. Fighting over screens, you know what I mean? It's a will. Defense is all a will. Yeah. He wants to win. He won a championship. He wants to be, you know, he wants to be really good. So, no, we need it all. Next time you got to find out if he has guns. Chill, 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 chill. I'm talking about muscles, bro. You got to chill. What are you talking about? I don't want to be looking at his arms like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that his uh, defensive effort has really been showing up. I mean, just all over the place. Yeah. But uh, there was a lot of interesting stuff that happened. Miami Heat was getting busy, too. Miami Heat were having a watch party. My brother choked Jimmy Butler. <laughs> My brother choked Jimmy Butler, man. He don't choke Jimmy Butler, man. Jimmy Butler's been through the fucking fire and the rain, like James my Taylor. Yeah, bro. That's my motherfucker. You don't choke, man. That motherfucker, that, that motherfucker ain't got it all. <laughs> motherfucker choke Jimmy Butler, man. Oh man, Jimmy, they got watch party at the career, and then Alvarado and Thomas Bryant. I know, mind you, Thomas Bryant is my teammate with Lakers. Okay, I'm on a text thread with Jose Alvarado two days ago. Why? Just for advice. He go out there and do that. What advice did you give him? Nothing. I meant play the game. You feel me? Play the long game. Be a pro. You know, you man, I want just know I want to know some insight. You feel me? But I was I had so much going. I'm like, okay, cool. I can't talk right now, but when we come play y'all, I'm gonna sit down and, you know, hop, chop it up with you. I should have chopped it up with him there. Ah. Maybe, maybe he wouldn't have fought. Ah. Damn, you could have given Alvarado some gems. Yeah, man. What do you think of his little hiding in the corner move? Impressive. It's fucking awesome. Impressive. It's one of the coolest things that's happening in basketball. Impressive. It's to a point where before games, like the your coach, the scout coach, you ever sco- over scouting, he goes, you guys watch out for Jose Alvarado. You guys know he likes to do that sneaky shit. He does it, and it is like the crowd goes crazy. It's a... Every time he does, I feel like they either hit a huge three or somebody get dunked on. Every time he does it. Like, I've never seen him not do it and nothing, like, great happen. It's like getting hit with the hidden ball trick or something like that. It's like, fuck, that just you, that did not happen to me. You got to feel so dumb if he hits you with that. But at the same time, he's literally standing fully out of bounds with his back to the play, making himself small like a fucking Pokemon. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. But well, he's great, though. He has a bright, long career in the NBA. I'm excited for him. Yeah. Yeah. What Shout advice? Jose. So if you Shout could out to Jose him, Alvarado. Shout out to you, Thomas Bryant. Shout out to Jimmy Butler. Man, y'all relax out there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> y'all relax. Chill, chill, chill. If you could have given him advice, what would you have said to him? Uh, I mean, just the advice I'm gonna give him. Like you have to, uh, like you can't stay still, right? You uh, always have to improve, right? Your basketball game and as as a man too throughout the NBA, right? You you always have to add something to your game. Obviously, you're a small guard. Right, so it's important to make sure your body's at top shape. You feel, make sure you. I'm talking that 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 three at least for five or six years. That three are like you know 39 to 43 percent from the three in that range. Uh, and you have to do it collectively over five six years to kind of to kind of have a, you know longevity. Cement in yourself. Let people know that this is you. This is going to be a consistent thing. Um, so a very interesting thing happened this week with Kevin Durant. Two players, two fans at the Mavs game basically called him a bitch. Not basically. They flat out called him a bitch. But you know how the incident at the Mavs game, somebody said, fuck you, something about my mom or something. Right. Yeah. And Mark Cuban, shout out to Mark Cuban too. He, he took care of that and he, you know what I'm saying? Pat, I'm sorry that happened, blah, blah, blah. So that doesn't surprise me. About Dallas fans? Doesn't surprise me. But... Kevin Durant's response was interesting because he went and talked to them. Not He didn't even press them, but they showed their true colors once he talked to them. Big smile on her face. Guy saying, I got to actually have a podcast about sports. And then the biggest thing that he did, he didn't kick them out of the game. He just said, hey, you're going to sit in this and you're going to learn a lesson from it, which I think was even more powerful because they get kicked out of the game. They have sour grapes. They feel justified in what they said. And he showed that not only can he handle the situation, but he's bigger than the situation. I mean, I've... All the fans I've run into this year, last my years in the NBA, obviously they booed me, but the fans I run, run into one-on-one, you might have that one fan, you know, I was the first 
time or only fan of my career that really got disrespectful. All the other fans have been great. So you get that one. And I in feel that like case too. Rarely do people want to kind of repeat what they said. Yeah, uh, that's. I mean, but that's that's a man. That's a man. That's such a pussy move, right? That's such a coward. I was like, they're the bitch. It sound like that's so coward. Like you wouldn't see this guy. You know, at a movie theater and say that. That's always been my thing, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't say that to Kevin Durant in the movie theater. You know, obviously, you know, you know, it's like I tell all the fans, like, come on, you can be disrespectful, but, you know, I'm not going to your job telling you fuck you. Yeah. You're a bum. I'm, I'm not out here in front of your coworkers. Those trash ass. I'm not doing that to you. But, you know, we get, you know, we get the. Well, people just kind of mistake where there's not, like, a TV screen in between them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, like, it's people wild. just feel like when they're at home, they're just like, man, fuck you, motherfucking my parlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type of shit. And then you get to a game and it's like, whoa. He's fucking seven feet tall. Like I, you can't, you can't just continue to to talk like that. But it is interesting when the player fan barrier gets broken. And there's a story in college basketball where they're talking a lot about that player fan barrier. Uh, Duke had a game the other night. Shout out to John Shire. Shout out to John Shire. Stole Mr. Basketball from me, Illinois, 2006. What? Literally stole it. Well, John Shire is trying to steal court storming from college students right now, yeah. saying that they shouldn't be able to storm court Unfortunate after uh, Filipowski, one of his players. Get well soon. Rant. No, he's fine. He's cool? Yeah, he's fine. Okay. He actually initiated the contact, I believe. Oh, okay. But uh, Did anyone get hurt? I think that he was fine. I think that it, he he said he was a little sore. He's good oh, to go. All right, bet. Um, what was his name? Filipowski. 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 A good Polish, a good Polish lad. Oh. Helsinki. Um, do you think that court storming should be No, nah, fuck legal? that. Storm court, man. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Yeah, thank you, bro. I was NBA storm court. Yeah. Fuck that. Storm court. Storm court, bro. It's rules. Storm, storm I wish, court. I literally wish the NBA storm court. It'd be sick. It'd be incredible. But you know these NBA players. You know players. the pictures you'll get from that? Oh, my God. Yeah, it would be, it would be legendary. But then old boy on the Pistons would go be, be throwing no punches. Score, <laughs> scoring board and... Oh, they'd be throwing you up in the air like on some hip hip hooray. <laughs> no, I'm up here making all type of shit. <laughs> all type of shit going on. Shout out to the pod. Subscribe to the pod. Subscribe to the motherfucking pod. And if you're a kid, mother freaking pod. Mother freaking respect pod. Respect your parents, kid children. Steve Kerr gets extension, seventeen and a half million dollars a year. So I'm in locker room. I, ooh, I see you, Steve. I see you, Steve. Deserved. Deserved. Yeah. You feel any way, any type no. of, about what he named his son? What did he name his son? Nicholas. Kerr? Nicholas Kerr? Well, I mean, if you drop the, I mean, what's short for, you know what I mean? What? I don't know. Paolo Bancaro okay, cried girl. after a game. Uh, Say he didn't know he was crying. He was sick. Emotions. Gang winner. I'm I'm new to all this. Success is coming. I done made the All Star team. I done made the USA team. My team is you know we you know we don't we we don't stink, but we're, we're not the best. But but I'm competing every night. I'm I'm healthy. I'm I hit gang winner. Hell yeah! Show your emotions, young young kid. Show your fucking emotions. You deserve it. Straight up, you deserve it. You deserve it. You're playing well. You put on for your country. Your first time making a fucking all star game. It's a lot of built up emotion. Probably shit he probably couldn't even like settle in yet. You know that those those tears probably want probably came from all star. Yeah. And then that followed that up with okay, my team is we're okay. We're competing. We're not the worst team in the East. You feel me? Like we're not at all the worst team in the East. We're a respectable team in the East. Like I just hit game winner. Like I feel great. I'm young, you know, like my mom used to hoop us a lot going on. Hell yeah, show your emotions. I'm proud of them. I like, need, we need more of that. The league needs more of that. I mean, I'm surprised that uh, Max Struess didn't cry after that game winner. Ooh, you see that today? And you know what? me watching it. Dang, say, man, you seen that Max Struess? Nah, Max Struess. Hell no, nah, show it to him. I'm watching the shit off dang phone. Ah, damn, all that. It, it's, it, it ripped a hole in the solar system. See, I heard, ah, damn. That was fucking loud. Yeah. That's got to feel incredible. Dame's about to start. We want to move it up to second place. I know. That's some bullshit. Shout out to Body Armor. Shout out to Body Armor. Dame's going to start shooting 60 footers, no doubt in my mind. Uh, Poole and Jordan Poole, Clay Thompson coming off the bench. Mm. What, do, what do you think that says about them, their character, and uh, 
Do you recommend more players be willing to come off the bench a la Russ last year? I mean, uh, if it's worked for Golden State and worked for Clay. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be his career is coming off the bench. But to be a guy who's been in the line, like been in the starting lineup through those championships years, a, 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 the part of the championship runs, uh, obviously, you know, you don't feel great, especially if you're not like the top seed, but like he's doing what he needs to do for his team. You understand what's going on? You know, he's doing what he needs to do for his team, and I respect that. Do you think that Jason Tatum is underappreciated in the MVP race? It's hard. It's hard to say. Why? Because their team is really good, right? It might be Porzingis one night. It might be Al Horford one night. It might be Drew one night. It might be Derek White one night. It might be Jalen Brown one night. You know, like, and obviously Tatum is top dog, but, you know. Well, couldn't you say the same thing about Denver or Milwaukee's lineups? That could be player X, Y, or Z one night? Yeah, but all those all, 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 all those players are like, they're the same size. They're the same wings. You know, him and Jalen Brown, they take turns. You know, you score 25, I score 25, or you score 31, I score 28. You know, Porzingis is scoring a dub. Drew Holiday is connecting everything. It's just, it's hard because the team is really good. That's all. Yeah. So you couldn't give it to just one person, you know? Yeah, complete team. Yeah. And then LeBron talking about his son in the yeah, mock draft. They, they need to let they I don't I've never seen anything like this. But it comes with being LeBron James' son also. Totally. You know? It has nothing to do with play. It just comes with being LeBron James son. And we can sit on here and say like all day, like, you know, let the kid be a kid, but no, he's not just a kid. He's your kid. Royalty, yeah, like you like you literally say. royalty. Yeah. You know, so like, but obviously, you know, they go mock draft this and mock draft that, but that's what comes with it. That's what comes with this line like shit. That's what comes with the light. You know, you go have you hide this, you know, but I'm just, you know, I always like to look at the positive and everything, right? Like, so, yeah, this is happening to him at a young age, you know. But this is what, you know, his father built. That's what he's built for. So if anyone can handle it, he can handle it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Bronny, man. Keep hooping. Uh, keep getting better. I wasn't never on no draft thing, so I'm not the type that, you know what I'm saying? like. And it's not the easy bake oven, bro. The yeah. shit isn't like, uh, you don't just put it in, it's like, ding, right. like it's fucking ready. Right. Like uh, everybody's on their own journey and all success isn't linear, so. Uh, yeah, so it just, it's just because his last name is, yeah, James. It's James. <laughs> yeah, but the younger one is going to be even more. Yeah. Yeah. And then imagine when the daughters come along. I mean, like, you know, so like it comes with it. Comes totally. With it. Um. Well, one thing that comes with this pod is uh, the onus of the listener to subscribe. So I got a homie in the hood, right? Yep. True story. It's a fucking true story. You all, y'all go love this. <laughs> I got a, I got a homie in the, I got a homie in the hood. His name, his name. Uh, yeah, change it. <laughs> tip of the dawn. <laughs> tip of the dawn on Instagram. <laughs> the uh, his real what we call him. Cheese fry. <laughs> right. Bro, he already had one really good name. Why did you have to go and fucking reinvent the wheel with cheese fry? That's his name. <laughs> right. Don't nobody fuck with cheese fry. Nobody. Elite Dukes. Elite hands and feet. Yeah. Like. Billy Blanks, Ty Bo. Not black belt, but why you know how to do a kick like that? What? When are you? So what? He's kicking people or Got just shot like shot in the head? Been in the penitentiary. I'm talking about my man had a, a rough upbringing. Everything I've ever posted, he's replied to it, reposted it, gave me advice. Y'all should do this with the pod. Some things that we currently do. Look out for this. Look out for that. Every single thing. He hit me with one other day. My 
Someone Where's it? What the fuck is cheese fry? But <laughs> what the don? Tip of the don. Tip of the don. here too, outside. Oh shit. Literally outside. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Tip of the don goes. Uh, new slogan for Nike competitors. That's fucking dude. Like, like he's, and he's elite. The elite. fact that he's like, hey, I need to get this to to Nike. Who could get this to Nike? Let me voice message Pat. I love you, King. You already know we locked in forever, man. Like he's elite, elite. Tip of the dime. Damn. Like the amen. Nike competitors, not Nike. I got some for Nike competitors. If they don't like, it, I got some for Nike. If they want to do some real, whoever wants it first. Yeah. Don't just do it. Don't just do it. Do, do it now. now. <laughs> it's impressive. That's great. That's genius. What? Get Tibbo on the pod. For sure. He's he's a every time listen. Every time I hey man, call cheese for I tell him you're going out. Right? We this is back in the day and I used to be like 10, 15 deep, right? Every time we go out, he got on suit. Cheese fry. <laughs> Fuck you get soup from cheese fry. Hey, bro, you never know. Uh, you know what? You're right. you actually right, though. He's the best, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Shout out to Cheese Fry, the man. Cheese Fry. What an absolute legend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shout out to Cheese Fry. We need to give out our Under Armour MVP of the week. If you want to give it to Cheese Fry, I feel like that's legit, dude. If I feel like <laughs> Cheese Fry could 100% use that. No, I got to give it to Mantis. Mantis has been killing it. Over cheese fry? I love Mantis, but... But Mantis has been killing. Like, this this run Mantis has been on since the uh, the May free throws from Barstool. I think you got to give it to Mantis, man. Yeah. Yeah, he on a whole nother level. Off that one thing, you know? So, yeah, I like shit like that. Yeah. Shout out to Mantis. The Shout out going to up. Mother Mantis, too. Huh? Mother Mantis. Oh, Mother Mantis. Yeah. I thought you said there's another Mantis. No, never. It's, it only could be one. One of one. Confidence one, one no, of no, one. No. Just one. Only one. Forget one. How about zero? As in zero sugar. Okay, go ahead. Break it down to me. What you got? The zero sugar in this body armor right here. No, that's why it tastes so lovely. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, body armor, zero sugar sports drink. No artificial sweeteners. Yeah. No BS. Mm. No dyes in there. Okay. It just is what it is, and you never need to forget it. It's orange right here. It's a super drink. Zero sugar. And you're going to be hydrated because, dude, I learned this. I thought I was just hydrated on water alone. Electrolytes. Electrolytes are essential. I'm, listen, we had a game tonight. I'm drinking it. Yeah, exactly. Because you need the electrolytes. I need it. That's I need the best way to armor. replenish. It's not going to just naturally replenish. You're going to need to do that extra mile. Body armor, zero sugar. Great tasting. No, no. Elite tasting. Fruit punch. From the beginning also. Lemon lime. Strawberry banana. Orange. Blue raspberry. I mean, if you're... If you Watermelon got, cherry. Come on, bro. Mango. Come on, bro. I'm locked in. This this body armor, next level. What, whether you're trying to get through a hard time, whether you're trying to elevate, whether you're an athlete, whether you have exams coming up, if you have a hard day of work. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Body armor will get you through it. That's our promise available in stores nationwide, but you can head on over to the Body Armor store at Amazon and get yours today. Shout out to Mantis for being the freaking Body Armor MVP of the week. Yes, sir. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, I'll clap. I'll clap. I'm not scared to clap, but dude, shout out to Cheese Fry. Shout out to Cheese Fry. I mean. Hey, so 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 check it out. We want the fans to... Uh, We've been coming up with, uh, of course, we have uh, wine down, right? We have our wine down. And we've been trying to come up with something in Milwaukee because not only is this a, a, a lovely place, this is a beer place. 
and it could be a beer down, but that sounds close to bear yeah, down, and, which is a and, Chicago and, thing right. in Milwaukee and, then, and Chicago. And don't, don't get along like that. Then we can't do fear the beer because y'all already got that, right? Fear the beer, fear the deer, so, yeah. So we came up with with one. Yours is good. The one that you came up with, I don't know where who your creative management team is, but you came up with some heat. You came up with some, some crack rocks, bro. That sounds like something that will come on a fucking voice message from Cheese Fry. That shit was so insightful. Okay, cool. So... Mine was. You had two in there that were really I had good. Hoppy Hour. Hoppy Hour is great. Okay. I have Scoring Pints. Scoring Pints is great. And then my Elite one I had Hold My Beer. Hold My Beer. Hold My Beer is also good. I think I like the first two better though. Really? Hoppy Hour? I had Case Race. I had Brew Box. I had the Six Pack Shuffle. Those are, those are all good. Scoring Pints is really good too though. Scoring pints is hard. Scoring pints. So, this is going to be our new segment of the uh, Pat Bev Pod and Rome. With, with Rome. You kind of oh, think you oh, whisper oh, it out oh, to us. Oh. Or it would be the Pat Bev and Rome Pod, but it's not really like that. What about the Rome and No, that's no, no that doesn't, what doesn't make sense. No one would know what the show was. It would mess up the SEO. So, this is our new wind down. We got to choose one. We go choose one. I like the scoring pints, but I do. I really like the hold my beer. Let, why don't we let the people decide? Like that. Like let's. What I mean. Uh, so underneath the video, comment whichever one has the most upvotes, thumbs up, is going to be the one that we are is going to be our new beer segment. Because this is a beer drinking town. Did we ever yeah. find out what that beer is? Spotted cow. Spotted, Spotted cow. cow. Wow, it just came to me Spotted like that. Spotted cow. You didn't even have to say it. Spotted cow. Hey man, if there's any anybody smuggling spotted cows out of Wisconsin, that's what the guy told us too, right? That's why we need to build spotted that cow. wall, build what a wall around name? Wisconsin. Man, I got like two shout outs I was supposed to give on a pod, man. I told people I'm gonna give them a pod on the shout out. Seamus? Well, yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Philly, right? Seamus. Got to shot Seamus out. Uh, who was the guy with the beard? You know who you are. Come up front. Tell us who you are. Beard guy. Beard guy. Beard guy. Subscribe. All right, subscribe to the pod. See you guys next week.